All right, so we're gonna go and do the opposite side pivot, okay? So instead of stepping here, pivoting this way, which is actually usually quite easy, you know, to, to go on your lead leg and turn towards the inside each time. We're gonna do more of like an outside pivot. So what I need to do here and is the same thing that I did with this one, where I'm stepping, I'm putting my weight over my head and turning. It's similar, but what I, what I need to do is make sure that the weight's on the front leg, but I'm not always gonna have the opportunity to step with it. If I step closed to the person, now I'm turning and it's awkward. I'm gonna get caught up or I'm gonna get too far away from them. What I want instead is just enough weight on the front leg to let me pull myself across. So here's the, the, what it looks like. I'll do it where the bag's not in the way. I shift my weight to the front leg and now I'm pushing myself across. I'm allowing head, and, and head weight and most of my body weight over my front knee and then now notice I land with my knees and shoulders lined up. I'm not doing this and then turning or trying to hop or jump or something like that. I'm keeping my knees right underneath my shoulders, my weight goes over my front leg, I push and just a little pivot. Just turning the heel like this, turning the heel up can help a lot. If you keep your leg anchored like this, it kinda, it kinda screws up. What I wanna make sure is that I can pivot just like, uh, just like I pivoted with the outside, or sorry, the inside pivot. I'm gonna be here, weights over the front leg, turn. Now a great way to set this up is with the jab, okay? So if I'm facing my opponent or I'm facing my target, the bag here, I hit that jab. A great time to do this is when somebody's defending like this. If the person gives this type of defense, that, sh that, that caging type of defense, that's perfect. I sting them with that jab, and now weight goes over the front leg, and I hit that pivot. And now I'm ready to throw my hook. And so, if this, this spot right here, where this logo, and this logo is the front of the person, my straight punches are targeting this person, and my hook is targeting the sides, right? So my straight punches go to the nose, the mouth, the forehead, and my hooks go to the jaw and the, you know, the ears and the temples. The cool thing about this pivot is after you set it up and you get them to freeze where they are and you hit this pivot, now when you throw that hook, it's gonna go right down this hallway that they've given you in between their gloves, right down the middle of their guard, and it'll target the mouth and the nose, which is lots of fun to hit someone there. So, I hit that jab, I hit my pivot, and notice when I do, my weight stays over this leg. Sometimes people have a trouble, trouble with this pivot and they come here and they're like, wait, he wants me to throw a hook, how do I throw a hook? It's just an arm hook, it's because your, your weight isn't in the right place. So I want to be here, shift the weight over the front leg, and then as I pivot, let this shoulder come forward a little bit. This is a bit of an exaggeration. It's really going to be like this, but my weight is still over my front leg. Now when the weight's over the front leg, I load up what? My hook. Hit it. So again, here I hit my jab, pivot, land the hook. Again, one more time. Jab, pivot, hook comes right down the center. As I start getting better with this, and the bag's moving around, I might want to time this in a way that makes it so that I could possibly freeze this person up. You could even throw one, two if you want. You could throw one, two, three. There's a time and a place for throwing arm punches because sometimes you don't want to transfer the weight because you're setting something else up. You just might want to throw a couple arm punches, one, one, two, pivot, hook, one, two, three, pivot, hook, all of these work. Just make sure that when you do this, you don't drill it so that you're over here. Because think, this, there's a person here. They've got arms, 
shoulders, elbows, they've got legs, you're going to get all caught and tangled up in their body. And you're kind of giving, you're kind of exposing yourself to them. You still want to go around the outside of them. The same concept, this is the front of them. I hit that jab, pivot, I'm on the outside, and now I let myself turn across, transferring the weight to the back leg. Uppercut would flow after that. Another hook would flow after that. And yet another way to do it is this. Jab, pivot, throw the body, come with that uppercut to the head, and go with another hook. 